good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay, roll call Miss Ella Blackwell, Tamika, Axel, Mario, Robinson, Sarah, Chef. What's your last name, girl? Oh, there go my friend with that, that O O name. O O. I'm just gonna say O O. You know your name. Well, I'm gonna go back. It, I can't pronounce it, girl. But you know. Okie, okay, okie, okay, mute. Oh, 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 that's your night bookie. Oh, oh. All right, let me go back to the side. All right. Oh, Lord. Okay, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's, you know, I'm calling you, oh, oh, don't it? Okay, I see. LaShawn, James, what did I say, Wit, Nicole, okay, Wit, Nicole, Reginald Johnson, Joanne Petty, and I don't even know why I started that, because some of my people be inboxing me like, you don't never shout me out, you don't never shout me out, but I just do the first ones that come on the live while I just be seeing them. It don't be nothing personal, nothing personal at all. I can't see all the comments, and I can't see all the names. But to all my butterflies and everybody on the live, good morning, good morning. My Ryan Thompson, good morning, and I plan on having a blessed day. Jerry Bryant, why you always putting them Google eyes up there, them little eyes? What you looking for? Jerry. Jerry Bryant, be putting them ads up there. What that mean? You watching? Okay. Oh, oh, yes. God is great, and I love you. You know that's your name now. Oh, oh. Okay. With or without Nicole. Oh, Lord. We might have another one of them on here. No, you didn't make four comments. Okay, Jerry, we, we see you watching. Now, good morning. Today is Sunday. The beginning of a what? New week. So, everything that happened last week is over and done with. We're going to make this week better than last week. Who said no? Who said no, Bae? Bae Shonda. Bae Shonda. Bae Shonda. Boy, y'all be clowning on this thing. I'm blessed, Crystal here. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed by Bae. So I want to start out telling y'all about what I read in the Daily Bread this morning so we can do some positive and productive. Positive and productive. Positive and productive. Okay. So. Let me leave my headphones down. But I do got me some head earbuds for the other side. Good morning, um, Kim. Join. I don't know if, if I was waiting or hoping that Karen would be on here. Davenport. <sighs> because y'all butterflies. Uh, DJ, a little investigation, homework, whatever, you know, about the lady that was on the, um, page. And, you know, if you go to her profile, it is just like one picture on there, you know, so we would call that like a fake page or something. It don't have nothing else on there for real. Um, a few people, Text me, inbox me. It was like some just ain't right. It ain't adding up. It don't make sense or whatever. But I did talk to her or a lady Friday when I was in. I stepped outside when I seen her name come up. So I talked to somebody, and um. So today is Sunday, and then I got another 
message from Miss Karen Davenport this morning. That's why I thought she was on here. And she had screenshot the whole, like, thing. And we just, you know, but I'm not going to worry about that. You know, I'm going to send, I'm still going to do what was on my heart to do. And if um, it's fake or a imposter or whatever, then that's for them to deal with. And that's how I'm going to look at that situation and deal with that situation. Because I'm not the judge of it. You feel me? I don't know the, the, the whole scenario of it. But I know what was placed on my heart. So that's what I'm going to still do. And we just don't not investigate that situation anymore. But I, I appreciate everything y'all do for me. Y'all be on top of it. If I, if I ask y'all to do something, y'all be on top of it. And if I don't ask y'all to do something, y'all still going to inform me of what's going on. So I thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. And I love y'all, love y'all, love you, And appreciate y'all for that. Oh, hey, Nana. Hey. Okay, so now we're going to go to First Peter 3.15. It was, it was real, like, short. This is just, like, any day to bread, but I want to give a word because it do kind of, like, line up. But First Peter 3.15 just say, Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone for the hope that you have. That's the, that's the scripture. You feel me? And so with that being said, this just like me coming over here, here on live. I always tell y'all, you know, uh, be prayerful, never give up, stay strong, trust and believe in God, you know. And um, and then it go down, and it's just like, um, what evidence for the resurrection of Jesus makes it reasonable, even though it's clearly miraculous. And so... It's clear I come on live. I was told to come on live every day and show y'all the works of God that he was going to do right in front of the whole world. And it's the works of him and it's miraculous, but it was also spoke into existence and it was revealed right in front of this sign the screen right here so that's my evidence that's why i can always be ready to say something about what he's done for me and what he's going to continue to do for me because that's where my faith lies at and i have proof and i have witnesses that it's true and i can bag my word up if you go back and look and i can bag my word up if you go in that bible and read so that just first peter Chapter 3, verse 15. That's it. Simple. So when anybody asks y'all, uh, why you got faith or how you believe that or that ain't going to happen or whatever, then you have to come back with things that he's done for you in your life or things that he has brought you from in your life. Situations reflect back on his word. And that makes uh but grounds that makes grounds for evidence right there. So I just thank God that um I was put in front of a big platform to be able to show so many people the evidence and the works of God. I even had somebody in the inbox me yesterday if they on here it was Friday, I think I went live Friday. I don't know when it was, but anyway they were telling me they put alabira on my face or whatever. But I'm still not doing it because remember, y'all, I did that one time before and I was convicted to get out the way because God didn't tell me to put no alabira on my plant, on my face. And I know that's an old remedy. When I got a whole brand new alabira plant, I was ready. Got cocoa butter back there and everything. Heal it up because them old school remedy. But God didn't tell me that. He said, he was going to heal my face in front of the whole world. He didn't say him and the aloe vera plant. He didn't say him and the cocoa butter stick. And he definitely didn't say me and him. So I got to remove myself out of the situation and continue to let God work and do what he's doing in this situation. Because he is the one who gets the glory for everything. 
that has happened and everything that will happen. And that's just it. That's just all. And that's, that's just the end. Period. Pooh. Nah. Yeah. I see Miss Pat. I'm reading this long message. He is working in you and you are beautiful. He is not finished. Oh, I know he ain't finished. They killed me and Amber. They went there. When you say no violence, that's dead. And I, no pulse, that's dead. And, I, and killed me and brought me back to life. I know you ain't through with me. And you brought me back for a reason. You uh, And I know you're going to reward me with your, because you my daddy. And he got uh, everything. So, because he could have left me dead. So, uh, he brought me back for something. So, I'm waiting on it. I'm waiting on it. I'm looking at these little earrings, y'all. Yeah, I know I go to these subjects again. But we did, the girl had brought these to class. She made them out of yarn. You see? <laughs> yeah, she brought them for me. She, she said, I like pink. <laughs> that was just sitting right there. But I just wanted to say that uh, real fact because I kept looking at these for earrings and they was cute. But y'all heard what I said, though, about um, First Peter and 3 and being ready to tell anybody what God has done for you. What? I, ain't that cute? Okay, Sequoia, Barkley. Yes, he did it for you, so I know. He did it for you, and he'll do it for me. This too shall pass. Thank you. Uh, Miss Burns, good morning to you, too. Good morning to you, too. But I just wanted to get up here and um, let y'all know that because that was uh, really, like, directed to me. I was on it, and it hit some spots. I just read that, read it. Um, Pinpoints of it, the topics, then the prayer at the end or whatever. And it's in Daily Bread if y'all have a Daily Bread. Or you can download it on your Google thing. And they got it right there for your Daily Bread. And if you write down, you do a push the button. And look, right there. Right there. You know, like when you push the Facebook button. If you're looking at folk business. Or looking at folk. Watching them. Talk about nothing. And talk about who slept with who and who did what. Who, what, 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 what. Just push the button, look at the daily bread. It ain't gonna take long. It's short. Little bit of piece of paper. Little bit of piece of paper like that. That's it. We won't even do that. We won't do nothing. But I always tell my, oh Lord, I need some help. Oh Lord, deliver me. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Well, what are we gonna do for God? What are we gonna do for Him? We don't wanna do nothing for Him. But we want him to do everything for us. Oh, well, so that's it. Now, I am going to church this morning. How did I sleep? I slept well. Woke up though. This side was, I had slept on this side too, but it was a little like that. But I didn't woke up now. Because I've been up since about 4 30. So my face and woke up now and everything I guess back to normal. Whatever that is. Yeah. <laughs> so I looked at the text. I tried and talked to y'all. Good morning, it? Joanne Parham. Yeah, I probably ain't saying that right. Your name name Parham. Parham. Oh, let me tell y'all what happened yesterday. We did. We had death in the family yesterday. I was just telling y'all about my grandma's sisters and stuff in Adair, Georgia. Well, we had not not one of grandma's sisters, but one of grandma's cousins passed yesterday. And um so that was another, I didn't want to get on here at, at first yesterday because I was going to get in my feelings and emotions. But not just because of his death, just 
because of life and death in general because we still lose so many people and you just look up and then you look at your situation and it could have been you it should have been you uh, and, and a whole bunch of other stuff but God still spared us and I was just telling y'all that on my second day because I celebrated one day first and, and went back and then the second day came and I'm um, I had to refresh or move on forward. So I said, we weren't going backwards no more. I said, we were going to celebrate life and move on. And then, boom, we lost the life. So that had me, you know, like, oh, but it's real. So I didn't say nothing too tough about it yesterday or whatever. But it just came back up today. So now we got the holidays and everything. Then my uncle had passed, y'all remember? When I first got out of the hospital, you know what I'm saying? So this going to be grandma and them first holiday or whatever without her son, you know? So a lot of stuff just was on my mind. So I just want us to celebrate being alive and be grateful. Just like I said, it's Thanksgiving. We have all these man-made holidays. I just told you, I use Thanksgiving just to be thankful and grateful. And it's just another thing to add to this list. And number one is life itself. Because out of all the things we do, or all the things we could do, we cannot wake ourselves up. We cannot put breath in our body. We cannot make it without God. And so I just want to thank God for life and giving me life, breathing breath in me. Let me still be able to be here in my right mind. I might not be where I want to be. A lot of us might not be where we want to be. But we here. We still here. And we still have a chance to get it right. We do. And I, that's what I, I just want y'all to just just. Be grateful, man. Just be grateful. Because there's too much going on. And, you know, I just want y'all to be grateful and appreciate what you do have. We always focus on... Oh, I'm saying this because it came up in a group yesterday. And one lady was talking. And she was talking about her mama had passed. And, you know, it was hard for her to deal with her mama being gone and stuff like that. And, she wished that, you know, she could be here to talk to her, stuff like that. And, you know, my mom died when I was 18, you know. And I mourned my mama for 20 years. 20 years. And I was just telling her, can't nobody have to tell you how long to grieve or can't nobody tell you how to feel or whatever. And that's the hard thing to lose is your mama. And when you lose, when I lost my mama, even though I said I ain't like her or whatever, a part of me still went in that ground that day. It's it's hard, and you can't tell them about how long to grieve. You can't tell them about what they think. You can't tell them about what they feel or none of that. You just have to meet them where they are and just try to pray for them and encourage them or tell them some of the things that you've been through or whatever. But it's it it's, it's hard, but um. We were talking about that yesterday. So, it's just a lot. But through that, you that's why you have to press on. And that's what he say. You have to press on. We say push on or move forward. or not. You know, you have to continuously pray and ask for strength. You have to continue. That's why I say pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. When you be walking... People don't, they like you be having a rap song and stuff, because I do too. The songs in our head and stuff, we could be praying in our head, you know, praying, talking to God. You get in the car, you could be praying, talking to God, because you don't know what's down the street or around the corner that he inspired you from or could be leading you to. So you just, just, just pray with that season. Never give up. Be grateful and be thankful. Don't dwell on what we don't have. That's what I was saying when I got to the mama. Oh, my mama. I don't know how I'm going to make it. 
Oh, my daddy. I don't know how I'm going to make it. Oh, I lost my job. I don't know how I'm going to make it. Oh, my car broke down. I don't know how I'm going to get it fixed. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. But you still hear it complain, though. Some people ain't even here to open their mouth. You'll never hear their voice again. So still, with your car broke down, with your mama being gone, with your daddy being gone, your husband being gone, your wife being gone, your job being gone, praise them anyway. Thank them for a new job. Thank them for a new car. So, that's what I want to say. And thanks for letting me share. Now, I want everybody to have a blessed day. Now, what we're going to use the word for today is what? I'm listening. I'm listening. Oh, Victoria, yeah, that was real. Oh, I'm all way down. Pray. Okay. Rosalyn Mo, you just got to, I could have swallowed the wing about five. I nah, ain't about three times, though. And then, okay, this definitely for you, Miss Rosalyn Mo. And Miss Carolyn, that's it. Be grateful. Keep the faith and keep on pushing, Rachel. Oh, Miss Deborah, you just logged in. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Bookie. Yeah, as Miss Sarah said, be grateful. Yes. So, no matter what happens, no matter what we face with, we still have to be grateful. Because when you talk to somebody else and you think you're going through something, somebody else's situation is worse than um, yours, maybe. And somebody else was talking about uh, how they had lost their job and, you know, lost their place to stay or whatever. And they were going from house to house and they was at a um, hotel or whatever. And I said, well, true, the hotel got heat. They got running water. What about the people, you know what I'm saying, they're sleeping in abandoned houses or on the side of the road or up under the bridge? That hotel look real nice to them, you ask me. <laughs> yes, Miss Brenda, be thankful. You got to keep the paper, got to keep the full. You already know you got to keep that armor on. Yes, ma'am. A child laughing at. Yes, God is good. Be thankful, Miss Brenda. So, with that being said, I think we have done our good mornings. And First Peter three fifteen. And we all know to keep pushing, pray with our sister, and be grateful. In the name of Jesus. Amen.